Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So this Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode two of Lord of the Rings. Uh the Rings of Power. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, um basically I have already watched the first two episodes at the premiere in London. So this is kind of like a secondhand reaction, like me re-watching it again and just, you know, sort of sort of giving my opinions as I go through it, trying to remember what I first thought while I was watching it, and that's as close to a first, a first reaction that I can give you guys. Um, so, yeah. Also, reminder that the video will be reversed, and it will be uh, at, like, 60% transparency, um, and the volume will be very low, because the music will probably very quickly trigger the copyright, um, even though it's within fair use. So... It is what it is. Unfortunately, I can't change that, but um, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I didn't see this intro. When I watched it in cinema, the first episode didn't have this, obviously, and then the second episode did not have this. They went straight into... They, they literally went immediately into the next episode. They didn't show this intro at all, so I, I've not seen this. This is pretty. Oh my goodness. Wow. I like it. It's pretty. I like the gold theme to it. It's nice. Shit, yeah, that's my first time seeing that. Cool. I like it. Yeah, I really, really loved this episode when I watched it. Um, there's so much to it that I loved. So I'm, I'm excited to be rewatching it again. The thought of this absolutely terrifies me. I hate water. I hate the ocean. So, like... I, I could not... Also, I feel like I, like everyone else, we all have our theories about this, about this stranger. And I'll talk more about it as we go along. As we get further into it. They feel like Merry and Pippin. But it's Nori and Poppy. They're wonderful, I love them both. Yes, I'm pretty sure he is a wizard. Um, I'm not sure which wizard. He could be Gandalf, he could be Saruman, he could be another wizard that we don't know about. Um, but I'll explain why, like I said, once we get further in. God, oh, the music! The music! Ah! Oh. And bump. Screw, all elves are very handsome. I have not seen an unhandsome elf. <laughs> oh, great goats! Okay, she's so me. I love her. God, all elven areas are just so fucking beautiful. I want this. I need a replica of this immediately. Let's go! Oh, this is so exciting. These scenes are probably some of my favorites. Look how fucking beautiful that is! It's so pretty! I want to visit here! I want to go! Where is it? I love, how, I love how Celebrimbor just came the entire way. He walked this whole fucking distance for Elrond to just be like, okay, bye. Meet you back there. Enjoy walking back by yourself while I get escorted by some dwarves. He got done so dirty. Bless him. Someone give him a hug. God, oh, the music. See, this is the thing with Bear's, like, soundtracks. It gives me such God of War vibes because, obviously, it's all his. Like, it just sounds so fucking good. Oh, my God. Look how beautiful this place is as well. It's so visually stunning. Yeah, Elrond's face is literally me when I first saw this. I was like, holy shit, this is incredible. God, I fucking love dwarves. Dwarves are one of my favorite things in Lord of the Rings. It's elves and then dwarves. I fucking love all of them. God, 
Oh, look at that magnificent beard. Doom. God, Elrond is so fucking beautiful. I am so... I have fallen so deeply in love with him. Just the way he was standing there, he just looks so fucking good. I don't want to cosplay Nori. Okay. So. Here we go. Potential Gandalf theories. So this is where his love for hobbits possibly came from. I know, obviously, Harfits are not hobbits, but they're like pre-versions of hobbits. Also, the fact that they that Poppy was like, oh, he's not an elf, he's not handsome. Look at him, he is very handsome. Am I the only one? Is that just me? This... So that fucking symbol is the backwards version of what he wrote on Bilbo's door. So the fact that he wrote that made me think, oh, it's Gandalf, but then because it's backward, it's like, is it Saruman? Or just a general wizard. I don't know. I'm just coming up with theories. So this guy has the potential of becoming... Um... A very popular character. Tell me he does not look like Aragorn. Man, this shit's so brutal. Just seeing her swimming away and seeing all that in the background is insane. Dude. Holy fuck. Yay! Yay for possible best, boy? I'm not sure yet. Haven't seen enough of him. That I already like his vibe. I'm already... I'm already here for it. Like, look at him. He is such an Aragorn. Like, not to constantly compare him, but, I mean, it's a pretty good character to get compared to, let's be honest. This genuinely makes me want to cry. Like, I actually teared up watching this in the cinema. Cry. I'm too emotional today to watch this. Oh, God. He's so lovely. I love her. <laughs> oh, my God. The rivalry. I love it. Friendly rivalry, of course. The tree. What like, was he? I assume is he from the place that Arendir went to? Is that the mark of your people's king? The thought of being chased in a tunnel like that. Fuck that shit. Especially having rats crawling over you. Ugh. And then to top it all off, you fall into water. It's so many nightmares. So many nightmares in one. This is some horror movie shit. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh god, he's so ugly. He's so fucking ugly. I had to look at that thing on the big screen. God, the music here just makes me want to cry. I can barely watch this part, though. Watching this part in cinema was the worst fucking thing. I had to close my eyes. So I don't know entirely what's going on. All I know is he jumped in to save her. It's way too flashy for me. God, that scenery is so beautiful. I know you can't really see it on here because it's really not transparent. But we're at 55 minutes in. And just him standing there with the stars in the background is so fucking beautiful. It's wallpaper worthy. And I might actually do it. And this is the next kind of slight hint towards possible Gandalf. You know, the whole talking the animals kind of thing. Like the way he just takes it and he just whispers to it. 
that, that gives signs. But then they all die. So I have a question about this. I mean, I don't know if anybody really knows. But sensing like the sort of ominous glow from it, is this supposed to be the Arkin Stone or like something similar? Am I being really dumb? I don't, I, again, I don't know the lore. I don't know the history. I'm not as big into Lord of the Rings as I would be Star Wars. So I don't fucking know. I could be saying something completely wrong. So please don't judge me or go off at me because I do not know my lore at all for this. So, but I said, as I saw, I was like, Arkenstone? Question mark? I mean, it could literally be anything shiny, but because it's dwarves, I was like, hmm. Also, this has so much potential. I am so excited to see where this leads. This boy is getting recruited by Sauron. A 100%. He is gonna turn evil. He's gonna be a big bad. And then he's gonna end up fighting Arendir. And then his mom's gonna get very hurt. Whatever way it goes. God, the music. Oh, see what I mean about like this sort of God of War vibes to it, like. Whom's the fuck are you? I don't know who you are. I want next episode. I want to know who it is. I don't know who it is. I have absolutely no idea. I want to know. Oh my god, I'm a, I'm obsessed already. I'm like so excited for next week. I can't wait. This is gonna is. Every week is gonna drag, absolutely fucking drag, waiting for these episodes to release because they they do love to end them with cliffhangers. Both of these episodes have ended with like cliffhangers, so I'm just like, this is gonna be painful. And I just know that the last episode of the season is gonna be like the biggest cliffhanger ever. Um, it's probably gonna lead up to like the reveal of like Sar uh, Sauron, um, like properly or something. I don't really know. I don't know what what's gonna happen, but. Jesus Christ, I, I'm loving this so far. I'm absolutely obsessed and I cannot wait to rewatch this over and over and over again. And I cannot wait for the next episodes. I can't wait to hear more of the soundtrack. Um, I'm so hyped. I'm so pumped. Let me know. Let me know what your guys favorite part was. Let me know who your favorite character is so far, whether it's a character that we already know or whether it's one of the new characters. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think about uh, Elrond and Durin's friendship because Oh, I love them. I love them. I cannot wait to see more of them together. Uh, more of them, like, actually working together and, like, having fun rather than, the, like, the friendly banter rivalry, which, fair enough, is understandable. I understand Durin's point. Um, but I also feel really bad for Elrond because, like, it's not his fault. But, like, they just, 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 just hug and make up, my dudes. That's all you gotta do. Or kiss and make up if that's what you feel like. But, you know, I, I love them so much. I absolutely adore this episode. And, yeah. I, I, as you can tell, I'm really excited for the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more uh, for more episodes in the coming weeks. I will also be reacting to Andor and The Bad Batch this month. There is a lot of stuff I have to do. A lot of stuff coming out at the same time. So my YouTube is going to be pretty busy. Um, but yes, and I'm sorry that these videos are slightly late, but the next couple of weeks will not be late. It's just I'm very tired at the minute. So... Um, yes, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, peace!